This is Rap the News. You got to get to the wilderness. Everybody who is God's chosen people must be in the wilderness. Just like God told the Gentiles that he will enter into judgment with them in the valley of Jehoshaphat. He told the Israelites that judgment starts with you first and he will enter into judgment with the true people of the house of Israel in the wilderness. If you don't make it to the wilderness, check your DNA. Exodus 7, 16, And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews, this is back in the day, hath sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. It ain't just any wilderness. It's the same wilderness your forefathers went into, the dry, barren desert. Why did God want us in such a place with no cultivation. Why does he want us in Death Valley? So that you can have faith in him and depend on him only. So that you look towards him for your protection and for your every need. Ezekiel twenty thirty six, As I judge your ancestors in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. So what wilderness were they in? They were in the desert of the land of Egypt. So will I judge you, declares the sovereign Lord. You will be in the Gentiles land in the wilderness in the desert. We're going to prove everything by the scriptures, folks. Ezekiel twenty thirty five. I will bring you into the wilderness of the nations. What wilderness are we going to be in? Right out here in United States and all of the places that God has sent us. We're going to be in the dry part of that land. In the desert. In a land of no cultivation. Putting all our trust in the Lord and being judged. And there face to face will I execute judgment upon you, Hebrews, my people. The Gentiles are going to be brought into judgment in the valley of Jehoshaphat. You will be brought to judgment once you enter the wilderness. Right? What wilderness of the nations? Not Jerusalem. In the land of Egypt. Not Jerusalem. So you out there doing what? Being judged. Numbers 32-13. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel. And he made them wander in the wilderness before 40 years. God willing we don't have to do that now. If we do, I ain't got that long left on this plan. Until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. Until all the evildoers with black skin got consumed. Died out there. Until all the evildoers died. Was destroyed. And so we out here being purged, right? We out here being uh, cold as they do chickens, right? We're being cold. C-U-L-L-E-D, I believe. Deuteronomy 8, 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness. So they dead and gone. He want us to remember what was going on. What was going on so far is that he purged all the evildoers and consumed them. Right? And once they was consumed, his anger was kindled. 
all the wolves in sheep's clothing. Right? And thou shalt remember all the way which thy Lord God led these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you. You can't get that clean out here in the desert unless you didn't build some nice little fortress. And shit. You know what I mean? It stayed dusty all the time. You got to constantly spray the dust out the windows. You got to constantly take your shoes off at the door. But you can't really because you got uh, freaking scorpions and everything else. You never know what's on there. You got huge ass tarantulas. You got huge ass spiders, black widows, everything out here. That will tear you to shreds. You got rattlesnakes. You really can't. T you you got to bring the dust in the house. And every day is just dust, 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 dust. Right? From whence you came. Anyway, he, he brought us here to do what? To humble us. We ain't prideful no more. And to prove thee. What to prove thee mean? It mean so you can be tried by God tested and proven true that you belong to God anybody who ain't proven true consumed to know what was in thy heart whether you would keep his commandments or not right you mean obey the uh, Bible no keep the commandments Isaiah 43 the voice of him that cries in the wilderness they always say is Jesus <laughs> prepare ye the way of the Lord make straight in the desert make straight in the desert a highway for our God so far you know that in, in order to even be brought into judgment and to be humbled and to be what God wants you to be you got to flee the midst of Babylon and get into the deserts of the places where you were scattered what if it ain't no there's a go go to the hottest damn place it is go to hot springs jeremiah 8 48 6 flee flee what the gentiles the midst of babylon to do what save your lives flee and save your lives this is an order from god it ain't you don't have options and be like the heat in the wilderness and be like the cactus or that plant or a flower or a root. Something that grows in the wilderness. We'll just replace heath with plant. Be like a plant in the wilderness. It's dealing with the heat and so will you. Why? That heat is purging us. If y'all is out here and these degrees almost go up to like almost 130. And this heat you can't even breathe in it. We getting purged like hell. My feet have gotten burnt. I'm talking about the sun has fried the holy crap out of me. You know. And that's a part of it. Jeremiah 51 6. Flee again. Run. Get the hell out of there. Out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. The only way your soul going to get delivered is you obey. Flee out of Babylon. Be not cut off in her iniquities. They sinners. You don't want to die when the time of the Lord's vengeance come. And he render Babylon a recompense. What's the recompense of Babylon? He is going to burn it with fire, folks. See, when the fire hit the sand, what's going to happen? Eventually, it's just going to burn out. When the fire hit all the places with all that wood and trees and everything else they got in there, all they lovely things was going to happen. Y'all going to die of smoke inhalation. All the smoke from the fires around you is going to suck the oxygen out of the air, and y'all going to fry and smolder in them houses like he told you you would. All right? Revelation 18.4. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people three times so that you share not in her sins or contract any of her diseases right the plagues can't really say this word no more you can't say nothing in this horrible place 
Jeremiah 31, 2. Thus says the Lord, The people which were left of the sword, which is you, found grace where? In the wilderness. Even Israel, when I, ca when I went to cause him to rest. So what did God want us to do? Let's let's read it again. Flee into the wilderness of the nations. And there he's gonna do what? Execute judgment upon you. These are commandments. You don't have options. The real Israel is going to obey the Most High God. If you are oppressed and you cannot do what God is commanding that you do, God do understand. But to the best of your ability, if you can scrounge up a little bit of change, sell your car, sell something, and get your butt out to a cheap place in the desert, would you do so? If it ain't no desert where you are, why don't you move to a desert somewhere near you? Obey the Most High God. This is Raptor News.